This is Disneyland News Today. I'm Tom Corliss, and here now are the top Disneyland Resort stories for May 26th, 2022. After being almost completely demolished last week, well, now the entrance of the former Tarzan's Treehouse is fully gone. It's removed from Disneyland Park. The small fenced-off area appears to be empty except for some trees. The rest of the attraction, which is being rethemed, is still surrounded by scaffolding and scrim. That's in the original footprint of what was the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. Tarzan's Treehouse, of course, expanded, uh, moved the entrance to the center of the walkway, and built that basically second tree and bridge. The removal of the entrance and rope bridge will open up the pathway between Adventureland and New Orleans Square. Of course, Disney has not yet announced the theme for the treehouse, but it's probably in Compto, <laughs> just so everyone's aware. That's the rumor. We expect the announcement at the uh, D23 Expo, of course, inspired by Antonio's Treehouse Bedroom. Following a month's long refurbishment, Pirates of the Caribbean at Disneyland Park will be reopening on July 1st, 2022. It closed for refurbishment on March 14th. The surrounding New Orleans Square, of course, has been undergoing a refurbishment to widen the walkways as part of this project. That's also why uh, the treehouse is getting uh, pulled back in as well. All one project. On Tuesday night around 8.30 p.m. Pacific time, Radiator Springs Racers went down for a temporary closure before ultimately closing for the night at California Adventure. Uh, this was apparently due to a possible ride vehicle fire. Eyewitness reports uh, said a ride vehicle stopped right, at the fi right after the finish line and the guests on board yelled to be let off the ride. You're looking at the video of that now that someone was nice enough to send in to us. The back bumper is misaligned and black smoke was coming from the vehicle. It looks like either from the vehicle or below it. There are components under the track that are part of the vehicle as well. Other guests reported the smell of burning rubber. Cast members quickly evacuated the guests who were in the smoking vehicle. And uh, yeah, again, you're seeing this video. It doesn't look great. And Radio Springs Racers and Cars Land was closed all day on Wednesday. And it's assumed that is related to this possible fire. Nothing has been stated at this time, and it is unclear as to when the ride will reopen. I hope it's reopening soon. It's 10th, and it's 10th birthday is coming up, just a couple days. Covered tables and chairs have been moved to a space next to Avengers Headquarters and Avengers Campus at California Adventure. Tables and chairs are under small red umbrellas. These may look familiar because they're those Galaxy's Edge umbrellas. Providing at least some refuge from the Southern California sun and some seating, finally. If you're eating at Pim Test Kitchen where, you know, seating is scarce, sometimes you got to walk all the way over to the Hyperion to sit and eat. Uh, never mind if you're getting a shawarma from the regular shawarma palace. You gotta, it's quite a trek. So thankfully, they've thrown some tables in here. There's, some, there's a couple closer to Shawarma Palace as well. Uh, much needed addition. I don't know that it really helps to the, to the theme of the land or to the look of the land, but it's not the prettiest land they've ever built anyway, so it's probably fine. While picking up a cosmic cream orb or a sweet spiral ration, it's often fun to take a peek at the exhibit box next to Terran Treats and Avengers Campus to see the latest addition to the Tavon Collection. Traditionally, this is home to props and exhibits from the Marvel Cinematic Universe films and TV shows. Mostly it's been for those items from the Disney Plus series over time, but the Terran Treats exhibit box now is showcasing off Coca-Cola Starlight. That's right, the space-flavored limited edition soft drink took the country by storm earlier this year when it was released, with many taking to stores to try the peculiar, peculiarly described soda. It's been available at the Disneyland Resort since March at Select Drink Carts. It's in Tomorrowland. It's over here. It's at Senor Buzz's Churros if you want it. And now we got this cool themed box. I personally love the Starlight Coke, and it comes in zero, which I, I like. I drink diet soda, so... It's great. I highly recommend it, and I have no problem with it being this cute themed display. It looks great. Did you know you can support the entire team behind this show and others by joining the WDWNT Inner Globe Society at patreon.com slash WDWNT? Get access to exclusive content, discounted show and event tickets, and more. Special shout out to all of our WIGS members who are watching the show right now. You make DLNT possible each and every week. Guests will soon be able to walk directly from their hotel to the Pixar Pier at California Adventure, thanks to another park entrance that seems to be under construction. Of course, the third park entrance was announced a couple weeks ago, along with the re-theme of the Paradise Pier Hotel. And now a construction wall has popped up between Corndog Castle and Seaside Souvenirs, which is about where the old entrance used to be. Back in 2001, when the park opened, there was a quote-unquote Paradise Pier entrance, uh, Paradise Pier Hotel entrance, to the park, it does seem like maybe that is coming back. 
Uh, again, it is also pretty close to the Grand Californian, which you'll see you know, over the construction wall is very close, but then again, um, you know, it, it would be the closest entrance for everyone staying at that new Pixar-themed hotel uh, that still doesn't have a name. Chip and Dale are greeting guests at California Adventure in their Rescue Rangers outfits in honor of the movie being released on Disney+. Plus. The temporary meet and greet is towards the back of Hollywood Land, to the left of the Hyperion Theater. Chip sports his brown leather jacket and hat while Dale is, on, uh, is in his floral orange top. Of course, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers stars John Mulaney as the voice of Chip and Andy Samberg as Dale, streaming now on Disney+. Plus. We flew on over to Smoke Jumper's Grill in the Grizzly Peak Airfield section of California Adventure to review three new pilot classic selections. The Double Impossible Cheeseburger, the Chipotle Barbecue Bacon Double Cheeseburger, and a Spicy Chicken Sandwich. The Double Impossible Cheeseburger is $14.49, includes two plant-based patties, dairy-free cheddar cheese, lettuce, tomato, pickles, grilled onion, and plant-based sauce, served with crinkle cut fries or cuties, mandarin oranges. The Chipotle Barbecue Bacon Double Cheeseburger is $15.49 and has two Angus beef patties, smoked provolone, bacon, lettuce, onion rings, and Chipotle Barbecue Sauce served with crinkle cut fries or, uh, or onion rings in this case. And there is a spicy chicken sandwich, $13.29, which is hand-breaded spicy chicken, chipotle sauce, lettuce, and pickles served with crinkle cut fries, again, or onion rings. You could read the review at DisneylandNewsToday.com or watch the review from Stephanie right here on our YouTube channel. Just a bit after Star Wars Day a couple of weeks ago, three new Star Wars treats have landed at Disney's Grand Californian Hotel and Spa at the Disneyland Resort, so we naturally had to try them out. There's the Wookiee Maple Bar Donut, which is $9, the Child Donut, which is $7.50, and the Strawberry Lemon Cupcake. Of course, what X-Wing pilot doesn't love Strawberry Lemon Cupcakes? Eight, eight bucks. Uh, check out the reviews again on our site, or there is, again, a video review this time from Charlie, right here on the channel. The former ESPN Zone building in the downtown Disney District will soon house the Soul of Jazz, an American adventure exhibit. The doors have been decorated with banners for the exhibit, which will open on June 1st, 2022. The exhibit dedicated to the history of jazz music debuted at Epcot, because American Adventure is in the name of it, and it debuted last year in honor of Black History Month, incorporating imagery from Disney Pixar's Soul. It then traveled to three jazz museums around the country. Uh, and again, now it will be in California. For the absolute latest Disneyland Resort news, head on over to DisneylandNewsToday.com and follow us on all your favorite social media platforms, or even on TikTok. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more great content, and click the bell for notifications. Also, hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of this show or, of course, uh, any of the other shows that we offer. For DLNT, this is Tom Corliss saying enjoy the rest of your today. Have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Welcome to News Today with Universal Parks News Today. I'm Tom Corliss. Here now the news.